name is Pascal Corbet and today I want to show you a little bit about video interviews and how to present in an online webinar without having to become completely media savvy but just to avoid a couple of the serious blunders that you can run into. I know you are a thematic expert and you want to keep it like that, you don't want to become a, a video presenter personality but there's a couple of things you better respect and it makes the whole appearance and the attention level of your audience much better. Now I come to a point that is probably of the biggest interest to most presenters, that's content. All that stuff that's in, in their heads, you know, all these books, all that knowledge. And now they get driven often by the knowledge that they have and they wish to bring this across. Now this can lead to that absorption with the content is king, but the king is not all there is on the stage with King Lear. There's more to it. There's the audience and their interest. So you need to be able to actually capture them for a longer time. And how long you can do that depends on a number of factors. How well you can speak, how well you can present, how much is going on in your presentation, how you vary your speech, all that. That can't be learned by just listening to what I'm saying. But be aware that the usual speaker probably after 10 minutes has has lost a couple of people along the way and now should probably have an intermission. So my suggestion is just do yourself a favor, talk to the moderator and after 10 minutes ask for a first round, round of questions. Don't just let it be comprehension questions, you know, sort of what was this in part three? Is it really 10 million or 10, 10 billion or something? But ask for a moderate first round of questions. Now, this will bring people back in. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, something's going on. I can now participate. And I always just wanted to actually ask this one question in the first place anyway. Now, let me come on and put it in the chat box. This is what you want people to do. You want to have them, hello, the teacher is now all of a sudden asking questions, come back to the seat. This is what you want to. Now, the second advantage of that is that especially with an online audience you might see a couple of names on the list or you but usually you only see there's 50 people logged in you don't know who they are you don't know what they're actually doing so you will get some information about some people and what their interest is and it might give you the opportunity to reconsider for the next step of your presentation in which way to, to gear where you're going, who you actually talk to, uh, do you need to pick somebody up in a certain aspect because some of these people are, are, are not really at where you actually wanted to start. You need to go maybe a step back. So you might have to leave the path that you had decided to, to take and take a different path and that might give you some insecurity but if you speak into the camera and you let go of your initial concept this will actually add a lot to your presentation